My name is Helene Stunkman Bayer. A question I'm asked in almost every meeting is, do I need a cover letter? The answer is yes. I'm going to talk about why you should have a cover letter, the format of a cover letter, and the information that's included. Some applications require them. If a cover letter is optional or not mentioned, you should still include one because it demonstrates to the employer you're interested enough in the job to go above and beyond everyone else. It explains how your experiences and interests specifically relate to the job. And lastly, it tells the employer why they should hire you or what you can do for them. Now let's talk about the format of your cover letter. Here's the standard business format for the cover letter. Always have a heading on your cover letter and it should be identical to the one on your resume so the two documents present a cohesive picture. The date is on the top left of the page. Include the full business address of the organization and don't guess at the company's legal name and full address, look it up online. If you know the name and the title of the individual you're writing to, include it in the business address. Be sure the title, spelling, and the gender prefix are correct. Also include the name in the greeting. If you're unsure of the gender prefix but know the name, use the first and last name in the business address and in the greeting. If you aren't sure of the information, leave it out. In the sample, the name of a specific person is unknown. Don't use to whom it may concern as the greeting. Instead, use Dear Hiring Committee, Dear Employer, or Dear Recruiter. Let's take a look at content next. Include three to four short paragraphs. Keep the letter to one page and make it easily readable. Have lots of white space and at least one half inch margin, preferably an inch. Paragraph one tells the employer why you're writing, what you're applying for, and where you saw the position. It includes the reason you're applying. Think about what's motivating you and grab the employer's attention. Stay away from something like this. Hi, my name is Elena Engineer and I'm writing to respond to your posting. Due to my three co-op experiences, I know I will be a perfect fit. This position is ideal because it will increase my learning. They already know your name and are you sure they know what a co-op is? You may think you're perfect for the job, but that's your opinion. Lastly, it's not about what you want. It's about how you can add value to the employer. Employers are looking for someone who is genuinely interested in the position as the student has indicated. And here's your hook. Include your co-op experience early in the letter. It makes you unique and is an indication of what you bring to the job. This student also explains what a co-op is. Let's move on to the second and third paragraphs. These sections establish the link between you and the job. Read the job description and highlight the requirements and qualifications. Address them specifically in your cover letter. Include key words. Here's an excerpt from a job description. Notice how this student includes key words throughout the letter. Not everything has to be 100% match. You can draw the parallels between your experiences and their requirements. This addresses project experience and collaboration. Don't just list words such as, I have strong communication and interpersonal skills. Provide examples. A cover letter isn't a repeat of your resume. It ties together highlights that tell your story and make the employer want to see the details of your resume. The last paragraph is short and ties your story together. Thank the employer and close your cover letter with sincerely or regards and your first and last name. Proofread your cover letter and ask someone else to proofread it too. Here's a recap of the important points. Use standard business format. It should be easy to read, concise with lots of white space. Target it to the specific job. One size doesn't fit all. Tell a story and connect your qualifications with the job requirements. Omit opinions and proofread. The Steinbright Career Services team is here to help you achieve your professional goals. If you'd like to meet with a career counselor for a resume or cover letter review or talk about your job search or graduate school plans, contact us at 215-895-2185. We look forward to meeting with you.